Okay, we're going to move on to another song from Volume 54 by Jamie Ingersoll, Jazz Standards at Everyone Plays. Easier songs than most, and song for my father. And so again, we're going to plug in some melodies, and this time we're going to, going to change things up. We're going to use a, a line by Beethoven for at least for the minor chord, then te tequila, and then a little blues line ending with a jazz song called Work, Work Song. And then in the second eight, we're going to use a melody called Alfie by Sonny Rollins, followed by a pop line called B Mustang Sally. And then the blues line again into Monin, a famous jazz tune. And on the bridge, we're going to use Day Tripper into the very famous Moves Like Jagger minor pentatonic line, which is a subject for another day. And uh, so we're going to use those lines to capture the sound of each of these chords and to, uh, you know, be secure in the harmonic rhythm, which simply means how long the chord lasts. And then Caleb is going to improvise after going through these melodies, okay, that imply what the chord is. It's a simple thing. So ready, one, two, one, two, three, four. So that's song for my father. So download those melodies and play them through and you know, see how many of them you can actually remember using your ear and your mind. And uh, so you notice when I'm playing, sometimes I leave the chord out because uh, I want you to hear that Caleb knows what he's doing. Okay, so when you improvise, you're not following anyone. You're not listening to piano players so you can hear what to play. That's not how it works. You're a musical entity who knows the chords, knows what you're playing, and it's the preparation for the, for the creativity that's essential that you know how to do that. And, you know, at some point, because jazz is a self-taught endeavor, at a certain point you don't really need any help. You write all your own exercises, if you will. And my job is just kind of coach students along, high school students, college students, to get them to the point where they don't need me because they, they know enough vocabulary and they understand the concept of how to practice for improvising. 
because it's a you know it's it's not a known entity. I think I heard uh, Chris Potter at a um, Jamie Abasol jazz camp talking about, and this guy was a child prodigy who was incredible at at 14, and he's saying like I don't know if I still even know how to practice. In other words, he really couldn't tell anyone do this exercise, do that exercise because his skill level is just so so high that it's just it's he can't relate to probably anyone of us <laughs> who are normal and uh but it's so it just goes to show that he every time he picks up his horn he just he comes up with something to practice and uh you know again you you check out all the stuff he has on youtube and a lot of it is just him playing by himself so internally he has he has time internally he has the chord changes internally and then he has enough vocabulary that he can play all this amazing stuff but uh, so again being a jazz player is is a real never-ending uh, journey that once you get on it you can never run out of things to uh, to uh, practice to make yourself a better player so goodbye for now <laughs>